Hey guys, this is Codextual here. So I'm going to be showing you how to install your Unreal IRCD server on the Windows. However, you can also do it for Linux, but that will be in for another video. So there's two versions, the 4.0 and the 3.2. I'm using the 3.2. Yes, I know it's older, but I'm more familiar with it. It's always been awesome here for me. And for the 4.0, I'll be showing you how to install that in a, another video, as I just stated. But anyhow, select the branch. And make sure you go to the unrealircd.org and you can click on downloads on the left and this will display. Now, the reason why I am using Microsoft Edge or Inner Explorer is because of this. There's As soon as you download it, it'll pop up with a warning sign if you use Google Chrome. And I was like, oh, this is a virus, blah, 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 it's bad. It's not. It's really not. But as we continue... The Windows is what I'm using right now, and for the source, that would be for the like a Linux server. But go ahead and download for the Windows, and I already have that all installed, and you should install it as well, obviously. Then once you get that installed, make sure uh, you right-click on it and run as administrator. And click OK. And this means it's running correctly. If you have any errors, then that means you haven't followed my other video tutorial of how to configure the files for the Unreal IRCD correctly. So you you gotta check out the other video to make sure you know you configure your stuff correctly, which is like a 15 minute video. But however, um, if you followed it correctly, you don't have any issues. What you want to do is open up your IRC program, which I'm using Merck. Uh, in the other video, I showed you how to properly configure yourself as the opera, such as the operator or the administrator. So it is case sensitive, the username. So you gotta make sure that your username is good. So what we're gonna do is type in slash server, then the IP, which we're running local, so 127.0.0.1. And we connect it and make sure that you know your um, username is correct. So codexual, which is case sensitive again. So you type in slash nick, then your username. Then you're gonna type in slash opper codexual and the password that you put down, which I put in for the password here for just this demo's sake. And there you go. It's simple as that. Now you have an IRC server running. Now if you're doing it locally, make sure you've got a port forward if you uh, have more than one device connected to your modem slash router. Uh, in that case, unless if you have it directly plugged into your modem, then you don't have to worry about port forwarding. But again, there'll be another video of how to port forward. So that's it. If you guys have problems, comment below. Tell me what your problem is. I'll be more than happy to uh, address what the situation is and see how we can resolve it. If you guys like this video, which hopefully you guys do, it would help me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel and make me go further and it'll help me bring in more people who are wanting to learn about information technology. But other than that, you guys stay awesome and we'll see you in the next video.